Hello, Internet people. Today we're going to look at Nintendo's first 3D console since the Virtual Boy. And uh, I bet you didn't even know I had one of these, huh? Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll review it one day eventually. I have to stick the camera right in the IP, so. Oh, well. Enough about the Virtual Boy, because today we are looking at the Nintendo 3DS. Just got mine today. It's still sealed up in the box. New dimension and entertainment. There's all the stuff on the back of the box there. I'll let you pause the video and read it if you'd like. Well, let's go ahead and get it open. And where's my knife? Here we go. I was going to get the extended battery for this, but it did not have it in stock yet. Because I have read reviews on this, and it's great, but I hear the battery life is awful. But once I do the full-fledged review, I guess I can say I'll know that for myself firsthand. So let's see here. This is advertising the street pass feature where you can literally walk past people on the street and uh, I don't know I haven't read up too much on it to be honest with you I guess they get added to your system or something I don't know it'll all be explained in the review as my elbow hits the camera uh, Nintendo Power the AR cards for the augmented reality which is funny uh, if I lose these I actually downloaded an app on my Android phone where uh, you have all the augmented reality cards on your phone and they say it actually works better because of the backlight on the screen. So um, if I ever lose those, I'll be good. Register. Yeah, don't bother. I'll have it registered by the time you see this video. Too bad. And very thick manual. Wow. Oh, well, it's in three languages. That's typical Nintendo. Alrighty. I know you're like, stop showing the paperwork. Yeah, quick start guides, quick start guides. You don't want to see that. You want to see the system. I know you do. And I do too. Although I've already seen it in um, Best Buy. If you go in Best Buy, they have them on display. You can try them out. This looks like it's the... Yeah, this is the dock that you put the 3DS on. So you just put the cable in there. and I think this is for if you want to... Uh... Oh, this is if you want to insert or remove cartridges while it's on the dock. And it'll just charge with those pins there. That's cool. At least they did that. You know, the battery life is not too great. But again, to be fair, I haven't tried it for myself yet. So here is the 3DS. It's got a mark on it. Oh, okay. Whatever. Well, it's not as big as I thought it was going to be. Um, console looks a lot bigger online, that's for sure. Um, very solid build quality. The hinge. The hinge feels really nice, actually. It doesn't feel as much like a DS Lite where it could fall apart at any given moment of time. Uh, the slide pad. I like this, actually. It's... A joystick that glides a lot easier than uh, the PSP's joystick ever did. Uh, control bed down there. And those click in like that. Uh, wireless uh, switch, which is nice. Uh, you don't have to go all the way into the settings to toggle that. The depth slider, which... I'll tell you, I've played with a 3DS already. I haven't been able to take the 3D anything past the bare minimum before my eyes are just like, what is this? And... They refuse to focus on it at all. Headphone jack, SD card. I think they said it comes. Yeah, it comes with a pre-installed SD card. Uh, two gigs. Okay, cool. Toshiba brand SD card. Not sure why that's relevant at all or it matters. But now you know. Volume switch, cartridge slot, uh, the stylus. Let's see the stylus here. That I haven't gotten to see yet. But it looks like a. Uh, before you telescope it out, it looks like the original DS stylus was extremely tiny. I like that it telescopes like that. I just wish uh, I wish it wasn't on the left side. It's not my favorite place for it. I mean, I was able to tolerate it here on the first DS. That was okay. DS Lite, DSi. Here it was great, except for the DSi. It seemed to fall out a lot easier. But here, this is just... I feel it's quite inconvenient. So, rapid-fire size comparison. If you have any of these things at home... You can get a better idea of how big the 3DS is. So, let's start with the most unrelated thing. As I almost knock one of my other things over off the camera. iPod Touch. There you go. PSP. This is what I almost knocked over. PSP is a lot longer. And, um... How's the screen? The screen on the PSP is still bigger. But, at least on the DS, it's finally widescreen in the year 2011. Uh, DSi, if I can get it open with one hand. There we go. 
DSI size comparison. And uh, DSI is a little bit thinner. At least the bottom half is anyway. And again, if I can get it open with one hand, the DSI XL. You know what? I can't get it open with one hand, so I'll put the 3DS down. There we go. Yeah, DSI XL is obviously a lot bigger. Not that the screens are any higher resolution, though. That's what I like on the 3DS. They did finally, um, the touch screen, it's, uh, I believe it's physically the same size as a DSi, but they upped the resolution, which is nice. And, um, the widescreen will probably be nice once they add the Netflix support for this. Um, oh, let's try putting it in the dock. See it out. Okay. Goes in easy enough, I guess. Comes out easy enough. You don't really have to, uh, put it in at a specific angle first. You can really drop it in flat and it seems to go in no problem. Well, one more thing to do. Might as well power it up to make the unboxing video complete. Turn the volume up on it. It's booting up. There we go. Okay, English. No, I doubt the 3D works on the screen yet. Yeah. The reason why um, you can never get 3D on a camera is because the 3D effect needs to be with two eyes. You need to have stereo vision. So one camera, one lens, you're not going to get 3D. Uh, oh, this is all touch screen. Thing. Oh. I better just take the stylus out. Check that the 3D depth slider is all the way up, then tap next. Ugh, I can't deal with it all the way up. My eyes do not like that. Let's see. So just hold your DSS shown above. The camera's kind of showing the barrier in the screen that gives the 3D effect. Nothing's 3D yet. Still nothing's 3D. Oh, activate 3D. Okay. 3, 2, 1... Whoa, it's popping out at me. Wow. It's kind of hurting my eyes, though, because it's up all the way, and... Oh, man. I gotta turn the 3D down a bit. That is a really cool effect, though, to see in person. You really should stop by a store and uh, see that. Set date and time. All right, so I'll do all this stuff later. Set the date and time and whatnot. Sounds so much fun. Well, that about does it for the unboxing. There will be, uh, obviously, a full-fledged review. There's the two cameras there. There will be a full-fledged review coming up. But uh, until then, that's been the unboxing of the Nintendo 3DS.